So this mature boy is here to get high and tight for the summer. So it doesn't hurt anything if I trim him short. So you can see he has much more developed a forechest because he is older. And with the hair tight, you can see that. And you can see that he has depth and width. And so if you had all of this with stripped hair, it would look pretty good. So that for this dog, you might do that. Now, the reason you might not on this dog is his skirt is also trimmed up very high, which from back here looks okay. Let me see if I can change the angle for you so that you can see how narrow his chest is right here. It, it comes to a point. And it's a little harder to see because he's a black dog. But if I was showing this dog, I would want more skirt up here to kind of hide this, this gap right here between his, uh, his uh, arm and elbow and the chest because you'd want this all filled in to have a correct chest. So for a dog like this, if I had to put more skirt here to kind of hide that pinched under chest, well, it would look pretty weird to have skirt there and then no skirt here. So that's why you'll still see skirt sometimes on a dog with a good fore chest that doesn't need it because otherwise it's drawing the eye to what the groomer doesn't, or the exhibitor doesn't want the eye drawn to. One of the first things I learned from my grooming mentor was if hair ever draws your eye, it's there for a reason. It's either there to hide something or it's there to draw your eye from something else worse. Food for thought.